On the 4th of January 2022, when the world was just ushered into a new year, a team of policemen from Nigeria's capital, Abuja, invaded Magodo, a private residential estate in Koshofe, local government area of Lagos State. They came under the direct order of the Inspector General of Police, Usman al Baba, through the office of the Attorney General of the Federation. The team and some members of the Shangisha Landlords Association were at the estate to enforce a court order on the Magodo land dispute. Houses and business premises were either locked or marked, declaring the possession of the property by the order of the court. Protest by surprised and embarrassed residents of Magodo, carrying placards, demanding intervention by the Lagos State government ensued. There was commotion, fear, tension and perplexity as residents of Magodo expressed fears over the brazen act by the policemen and the aggrieved landlords. Normally when police follow bailiffs to take possession of properties, after they take possession, they are supposed to leave. But after that day, we discovered that the police did not go anywhere. As I speak with you, there are more than 50 policemen camped, fully armed anti-riot policemen, camped inside the police post that we built. We built that police post. We still maintain it. And they came there. That's their base camp. Base camp to do what? We don't know. That's why we have come out to protest. One, because the, po the presence of the police in an area where there is no, no violence, no kidnapping, nothing, no robbery. How can we bring 50 armed policemen that are supposed to be in Sambisa Forest, that are supposed to be in Zamfara, that are supposed to be on the highways all over Nigeria to, 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 to forestall kidnapping? You brought them into this estate, have they been here? That is one of the reasons why we, are, we, we have to stay the second one. Second thing is that nothing has happened politically and we are not comfortable at all. That's why we have come out to stay the second protest. And we, and, and we intend to continue till the police are removed from our estates. The presence of the policemen in the estate was the culmination of a 38-year land dispute between the Shangisha Landlords Association and the Lagos State Government. The residents of the estate claim that they are not parties to the dispute as they are legitimate residents and landlords in Magodo who bought their properties directly and legitimately from the Lagos State Government. The judgment that was given by Supreme Court in 2012 was not, does not affect us. It was a dispute between Lagos State Government and Adeiga and others. So how does it concern us? The judgment is very clear. Give these people 549 plots. How does it concern us? Lagos State has not given them. They should have taken Lagos State Government to court to compel them not to physically uh, enter the estate and resort to self-help. Somebody cannot take a judgment, you don't have a proper paper. Why are we doing, why are we doing jungle justice in this country for God's sake? You say you have a judgment, where is the paper that backing it up? You cannot produce it to anybody. And you are now coming with police, using police on, on civilians. And this is unfair. We are ready, it's time to go to war with them, or for real. It's not fair, they don't do things like this. You have a judgment that you don't have a paper to back it up. You have a judgment that you don't have a last survey to back it up. And we're asking you, you cannot produce any paper. You are using police to bamboozle us. As soon as the protest was over, we thought that everything was in, in, in place until we suddenly saw another set of policemen coming to the estate, looking very fierce, with all sorts of weapons. The next thing I heard was that they had visited my house and they came in there and then he called me. Somebody there called me to say that my boy was being taken away and that he was detained. And I asked why. They said they, know that they don't know that they've been visiting every property and sealing up every property. 
They started from Abdul Qadri, and they as much as sealed up properties that people were inside. There was an early attempt in December 2021 by the Shangisha landlords to reclaim the properties, prompting intervention by the police. In the latest episode in the land dispute drama, Governor Babaji de Sawol, who also visited Magodo, to call for calm and restore confidence of residents in the process. On getting to the location of the protest to address the protesting residents, a melodrama ensued between the governor and a chief superintendent of police who led the contingent. I'm Bismola Oyewoni, the chief superintendent of police. Where is your state? I'm from Abuja. So you are not in Lagos State? I'm not in Lagos We made this place our base for the purpose of this uh, operation. What is, it? what is the operation? The operation is all about executing the Supreme Court judgment that has to do with Magdol. Okay, so do you have a copy of the Supreme Court? Oh, I don't have it at all here. But it's been given to them ever before now. No. no. It's been given to no. the residents no. ever before now. No, the, the, the court order is not rested in the government. So the government has been given. Yes, sir. Okay? Yes, sir. So whatever court order you are talking about, you are not even competent to know, which you don't even know anything about, is not to the residents. It's a case between the supposed people and the cost of government. Thank you, sir. So it has nothing to do with the residents of the state. Please, can you call your superior in Abuja that you need to deactivate and you need to leave Lagos in Abuja? Please. Can you call your superior in Abuja and tell them that the government is there and I'm the chief security officer and that you don't have any business to be in my state right now and that I want you to disengage for three for now? Thank you very much, sir. Your Excellency, sir. I'm not here on my own orders. That's what I'm asking you to I'm make here. a phone call and tell them your superior that I'm here standing in front of you. Make I'm that phone call. Thank you, sir. I'm here on instruction of this Mr. Euro police to the AGF, sir. Mm. And that is why I'm here. I'm too small or too low to call them. Your Excellency, sir. With due respect, sir. You can call them directly, sir. So that Who they will also to you. So Inspector Euro so it's asked you to come. I'm here on instruction of each inspector general of police to the AGF and to the general of the I have spoken to the attorney general at this oh, moment. Okay. So he's not aware that you are here. But well, we are expecting the call that we should send you. That's what I'm saying to you. Yes, sir. Because when I make the phone call, it will be tougher. If you can call and say that the governor is there in front of you, what should you do? Uh, it is not my duty to call because I'm too low to do that, sir. Okay. If you call. So where are your men? My men are here. They are all over the estates. How many men do you have here? I have several of them, sir. No, what number? I cannot precisely tell you the number. I think it just shows uh, the case of uh, lawlessness in our country. And uh, you can see the engagement uh, between the number one chief security officer of Lagos State and the person of the governor, uh, Mr. Babajile Sonolu, with a so-called uh, uh, superintendent of uh, police engaging the governor in that manner in Lagos State. And when law and order breaks down, I mean, people will not blame the governor. You came all the way from Abuja. Where is your court judgment that you want to come and use to process the uh, to process properties in, in Lagos? You cannot show it to the governor. The governor asked you, how many men do you have on ground? You say because of security reasons. You don't know. You can't, you can't say that. And now I just see the, uh, the, the commissioner of police in Lagos just walked in now. You see, this is how NSAS started, and it was not nipped in the board. If you have a case against Lagos State, then you, you don't take it out on the lawful residents of an estate. The case you claim to have is between some so-called Adeiga family and others versus Lagos State government, not residents of Magodo. This matter started in 1969, if we should put it in perspective. Um, government did a global acquisition of lands in Ketu, Magodo, Ogba, um, and several other places. But because the residents of Magodo deemed it fit to develop their own area. I have, I have been living here for more than 12 years and we have been contributing money personally to develop our state, including the tiring of the roads, security, making it very habitable. And the Supreme Court says the Lagos state government to allot plots to you 
not for you to go and forcefully take plots or take possession by yourselves. Many, including the Southwest Governors Forum, described the incident as embarrassing and a slap on the governor as the chief security officer of the state. The Attorney General of the Federation, Abubakar Malami, responded accordingly. Legally, this shouldn't be happening because there was a writ of possession that they tried to obtain from the court that was set aside and the matter is actually at the Court of Appeal now. The matter is being handled by Wimimo Ogunde and Co. So it's actually a bit devastating that while a matter is in the Court of Appeal, people are enforcing a judgment of court. Furthermore, there was also another issue instance where the police tried to come and do something like this and there was an injunction obtained. The, the application for injunction is still pending. And while this thing is pending, we come here and again, people are coming to do something like this. My family lives here, my, my mothers, my aunties, my uncles, I've been here for over 20 years. It's painful to come in and see everybody have to do this because we don't even know what to do next. Because the people that are coming in to hurt us or harm us are saying they're coming with police force and nobody is accepting that they sent them. At a meeting summoned by Governor Sonolu, a truce was reached which all parts involved promised to adhere to. Immediately meaning from Friday, they would be working with all of the stakeholders at identifying available plots of land around the Shangisha area. Drones will be flown, surveys will be made. In the event that there are identified plots, allocations will be made timely and um, what um, additional plots if 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 we don't have the, the right number there will also be identified at agreeable mutually agreeable location with the other stakeholders and the government will also review the list of all of the allotties 549 of them what then is the real issue who are the legitimate owners of the disputed Magodo land? Why was the matter taken to court in the first place and how long has this been? Why has the Lagos State government failed to obey not only the Supreme Court judgment of 2012, but other rulings and injunctions in 1984 and 1992 at the Lagos State High Court and the Appeal Court? Why also was the report of a panel set up by former Governor Bola Ahmed Tinubu in 1999 and headed by late Justice Akinola Aguda was not implemented? There was another intervention in 2019 by the Attorney General of the Federation, Abuba Kamalami. Let's journey back to the beginning of the matter in 1983. Chief Adebayo Adeiga is the chairman of the Shangisha Landlords Association, the judgment creditor. National Hospital, all kind of development that we, in that parcel of lands, should stop. And the Lagos State government should not EU certificate of occupancy or even letter of allocation to anybody in respect of that land. After the military administration came the civilian government. When former Governor Tinubu assumed office in 1999, he commissioned a panel to look into the matter. But the findings and report of the Aguda-led panel was not implemented. But like an axe that never rests until the tree is cut down, the Shangisha landlords fought on. The case moved to the next administration of Governor Babatunde Fashola. According to Chief Adeiga, the Fashola administration did not do much to either obey the court order or solve the problem. Still, the association stood on the confidence of the various court rulings, especially that of the Supreme Court, which came in 2012. The content is that we, the association, were given preferential uh, judgment that we had the right of allocation before any other person on the land and that 
we should be given first choice preferential treatment. And the allocation should be on that land in Magodo, Changisha, Scheme 2. They didn't obey. Instead, they filed a motion for a stay of execution of that judgment, which was had on the 16th of, uh, of April by the then Chief Justice of the first woman Chief Judge in Nigeria, Justice Rosalina Motocho. In his ruling, he lambasted the Lagos State Government for disobeying the rule of law. It was then Governor Babajida Sawolu decided to take the bull by the horns. The governor convened a meeting with the Shangisha Landlords Association, the Magodo Residents Association, and other government agencies to bring a lasting solution to the almost four decade long land dispute. The landlord association that went to court also have been assured that um, in no distant future, allocations and plots of land will be given to them, you know, um, once the full determination of, of all the areas have been, have been um, fashioned out. And we'll all be reporting and be working transparently, you know, to ensure that fairness, equity, justice is, 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 uh, is played out. But will the Shangisha landlords be ready to negotiate and come to a level playing ground with the current resident of Magodo? Will they also be willing to accept plots of land outside Magodo's Kim 2 in the event that available land within the estate is not up to 549 plots adjudged them by the Supreme Court? Chief Adeiga has this passionate plea to Governor Somolu. Well, let's read the bridge before we cross. If they are willing, we will sit down with them. There's nothing bad in negotiation. If we are able to do that one, that would be good for them. It's good to pledge. I hope uh, this governor, as he promised, will not be like other governor that we have witnessed in the past. I hope I, if he wants to do anything, I want it to be done in the next two weeks. Because you see, we grow older and older every day. So uh, anyway, that's another message that you help me convey to him. He should act in good faith and do the right thing as he promised. Because promise is not... Uh, when you promise, actualization is the most important thing. At the end of the day, the Shangisha Landlords Association, who have been in a fight with the Lagos State Government for 38 years, since the military regime in 1983, to the civilian government, they see hope in Governor Babajide Songolu. For them, that means a dawn of a new day and a glimmer of light in the tunnel. <laughs>